Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Compliance Corner with John Hansen. Today is Thursday, May 28th. I cannot believe May is almost finished up. Well, I'm here today with my very good friend, John Hansen. John, how are you doing today? Doing great, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we have an interesting topic today, and it really is about the language when we're giving a credit, the seller's giving a credit to the buyer. So talk to us a little bit more about that, John. Okay, so when the seller is giving a credit to the buyer in lieu of repairs, this is specifically what we're, what we're dealing with here in this subject today, because we have so many situations come up where instead of actually doing a certain repair or, or, or whatever, the buyer and seller are agreeing between them that their seller is going to give the buyer a credit. So, so the, basically the buyer can, you know, take care of that on their own, or they can use the immediate credit for reduction of purchase price toward their closing costs toward, you know, whatever they want. Mm -hmm. and, and so a lender might not like that. A lender uh, might want to see the repair done before they allow funding. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so how that's presented, you know, uh, written, I should say, is, is what is so important because, you know, it is, it is a federal um, crime felony to, to um, hide something, you know, from the lender. So we can't really hide it. We can't really not disclose what we've written, have a secret agreement, but how we word it makes all the difference. So for a uh, for wording to say some and, and what I'm about to say is is what I call the stupid way of saying it. Okay. Say in lieu of replacing the windows or in lieu of replacing the roof uh, or in lieu of whatever the seller agrees to give buyer a, a credit of X amount of dollars. Okay, that's going to create that's going to that's going to be a red flag for a lender and that's going to create a problem sure. and 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 yet you have to state what's going to happen or you could be you know uh looked at as having committed a felony so so what i've found is that is that when you are um putting that final piece together on your 35 hour negotiation and it entails the buyer receiving a credit from the seller instead of the seller doing the repair, uh, you just need to state two things. And one is, and without any, any grand explanation of any kind, I would say without any explanation, you would just state on one line, it doesn't matter the order, um, buyer waives inspection contingency. Okay. And we put that in to protect the seller because the seller is giving a credit um, to the buyer. And so, so we put that on one line. And then on whatever form you're using, whether it's the 34 or wherever it is, on the next line, you want to you keep a little bit of space in between them so that it can't just be look like it's all rolling into one thing. And on the other line... Uh, after the space, you would put seller to give buyer a whatever amount of money credit at closing. Okay. And again, not to use any specific wording. So it's not going to say seller to give buyer X amount of dollars uh, toward buyer's closing costs or, uh, you know, don't, you don't need to say specifically what the credit is going for. I don't think you have to. Um, it's going to be the buyer and their lender's decision on how they're gonna utilize that credit, if that's gonna be a reduction in the purchase price to go toward down payment, to go toward closing costs, to go toward uh, a, a, an interest rate buy down or you know, whatever it is, um, just put um, on that second line seller to give buyer that credit at closing. That is fascinating. You know, I think so many times um, agents are, are um, really trying to make sure that they're taking care of their clients. And so the language gets bigger and broader. But what you're saying here is be very concise and very simple and keep it only to what is necessary contractually. 
yeah. yeah. On this on this issue, yes. Okay, fascinating, John. This is yeah. I I'd actually never considered this. So so this is a really great topic today. Alrighty, so thank you so much, Mr. John Hansen. I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day. And everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and more importantly, stay active. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. -bye.